Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm outside. I bought this easel recently because I've been wanting to paint works outside in the park. And yeah, well, that's what we're gonna be doing today. My client wanted something really pastel, really colorful. She sent me a few images of what she wanted, like ideas. And I joined the images together and came up with a sketch for her. And I usually do all my sketches on Procreate. And well, after I do my sketches, I send them to my client. And if they like it, or if I need to make some revisions, so the initial sketch is just to see how everything is that's not the final product is gonna look it's just to see where the colors are gonna be laid the position of everything and just an overall idea of how it will look like and i really did enjoy painting on the outside here the only thing that i didn't really like is the fact that i was under a tree and it was really windy as you can tell by the shadows of the leaves and a lot of bugs were falling on me and it kept biting me and yeah it was just there was so many bugs and if i'm gonna paint outside again i just want to pick somewhere under a tree where bugs can be falling out it's not that i'm scared of bugs it's just like they kept biting me and it was it was kind of annoying in a way and as you can tell in the background, there were like a lot of kids. It was kind of adorable because there were, it was a, par a public park. So there was like a summer camp that was going on or something. And you could hear the kids saying, is he painting? Uh, and then they were saying like, some kids would yell out, he's painting on a jacket. And some people was like, just repeating, saying that. And it was kind of adorable. And I know what you would get for like if you're painting outside. There were some people who would stop by and watch me paint, and I didn't really mind since I'm I was in public and people are gonna be curious on what you're doing since you have this big ass board, you have a shoe box full of paint. I need to honestly buy a toolbox so that it would be easier for me to carry all my paints and paintbrushes. And now I move back to. After spending a few hours in the public park, I went back home and this was actually the next day and I painted the, the yellow part of the painting. I actually don't know what this is but my client did mention about something about guitar or something like that but I'm not really sure what it is. And for her name, she wanted a specific colors. I didn't follow the sketch that I made because she wanted a specific colors of how each letters are and as you can tell here I actually misspelled her name it's supposed to be Alexis but I put Alexis and she wanted daisies a lot of daisies and instead of painting daisies I decided to just embroider it to give that dimension like I didn't want the painting to just be flat I thought it would be cooler if uh, the painting would actually have some dimensions into it and some textures and the hard thing about this is that embroidery on on denim is hard already because denim is a hard fabric but denim with acrylic painted on it is extra hard so i had to push each uh needle through or and it was hurting my fingers since the tail of the needle keeps on poking my finger and I was just like over it I was I wanted it to be over and I can't I kept counting and counting the the remaining flowers and when will I be over and it took me around three hours just to embroider I believe I embroidered 28 or 32 flowers and for the center part of the flowers I just put 3d fabric paint since I did not really want to embroider all those yellows again all 32 of them or 28 since my fingers were really hurting I also painted some eggs and some more daisies on the sleeves and she did mention that she wanted some rubber ducky so I decided to put it on the sleeves as well and as you can tell here in the front I painted more daisies because she did mention that she wants a lot and a lot of daisies that's basically how everything turned out 
and as you can tell the jacket I really loved it and for each of my packages I usually send my clients free art prints since for them to use some freebies to, that comes with the package and I also send them personalized thank you letters and a directions on how to properly wash the denim jackets so I usually when I fold my denim jackets when shipping them out I try to avoid folding the face since that's the part that you don't really want wrinkled or I don't want wrinkled I also cover them with tissue paper so that the paint won't be scratching the boxes or things like that just for extra protection and I did mention this before that I started decorating the boxes more since I don't want to use envelopes anymore for this kind of packages since they always ended up being messed up after all that handling and I'm just really glad that my clients really loved how this turned out and I'm really glad because as an artist we all want to be hyped for our works because there are some clients who would just say thank you cool and like it would make you feel like what you painted for them was not enough but when clients like this keep telling you how great your work was and how it is it makes you feel more like you did something right and basically this is all for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below i'll try to make sure to answer them till next time bye